Hi, my name is Keith Bottridge. I am Riso Inc.'s National Duplicator Specialist, and I'm here today to show you how to use the keypad on a Riso duplicator. It's pretty simple, so let's go. We're going to start from the side. Obviously, we have a start and stop button. That's for printing. Pretty simple. We have these keys right here. One says master making mode, one says print, and one says auto. What that means is, when I press master making mode, it's just going to make a master and not start the print job. It will give you a little preview on your screen here so you can see. If I hit print mode, now it's going to print what would zipper on the last print. The cylinder master is still there until you start a new job. Let's say you walk away for lunch, you're printing something, you come back, you keep it on print mode, you're still able to print that job. The third button which I use mostly is auto process, which means when you're making a master, it will automatically print the job instead of waiting for you to, to accept the print job. So that's what those are there for. Our machine, we have a button here for slow to fast, make sure it makes your prints go faster. Um, to go to the fastest speed, you go to five, you hit one more time. This machine now will print 150 pages per minute. Um, you're going to see two of these. This is a two color machine, so we have two functions, but this is the same as a one color machine. We'll just have one of these. Um, print position, which means you can actually take your image and move the cylinder after the master is made. Uh, it goes one sixteenth of an inch at a time, up to almost one inch, left, right, up, or down. It helps make sure that your registration is perfect every time. Density. What are those buttons for? It actually makes it that you can actually increase or decrease how much ink is actually put into a certain location on the paper. If you lower the density on drum one, let's say drum one is the black ink, it's going to put a little less black ink on. Your image stays the same, just how much ink is being put on will be lowered. Um, and if you go darker, it's going to put more on there. This does this for both cylinders on a two color machine. If you have a one color machine, just have one of these. Um, so let's get into our keypad. I want to go over a couple of these real quickly. Um, first thing we see on here is it says line. Let's hit that tab and what do you get? It gives you different options. Line means that if you're just printing and seeing things like words. If your document is all words, you do line because that's what it's looking for. And this is how it scans your document. You know, it's telling the master maker that this is just words, this is what it should be like. Second tab is photo. What photo does is it gives you an option. Um, it knows that now there's a picture involved. Is it a standard photo, like a flower? Or is it a portrait, which is like people's faces? Why is that different? Because it knows that if it's a person's face, it's going to be looking for details like eyes and lips. So it knows that those items are going to be a little different than a standard image. Your third print option is duo. And what this means is you got some words in there and you got a picture. It gives you three options here. One is standard, which is telling it half the document is words and half the document is images. If you do line, 75% of the document is Word, 25% of the document is images. And on photo, 75% of that document is a picture, and only 25% is words. So it helps the machine know how to scan. The final selection here is pencil. Uh, a pencil is a different color than you think it is. It's kind of a grayish color, and sometimes some copier scanners and duplicator scanners wouldn't read that color correctly. So what we do is we hit pencil and it knows that some of, the some of the images on that piece of paper were written by pencil. It knows to fill in the gaps in the pencil where you might have a little bit of gap from the pencil being made. So that's what these functions do. The other tab on here is contrast. What contrast is how we scan the image. Um, we're scanning the, if you do five, it's going to scan it really dark. If you want to take a light scanned image and make it darker, go five. If you have a really dark image, you want to scan it a little lighter, you just go down to one. Normally, I just leave it on auto. Let the machine make the decision for you, but it will always make what it thinks is right. Um, size, you can actually select if you want to enlarge an item or make it smaller. Um, you have all your selections in here. You know, do you want to take a letter size document and put it on a ledger size piece of paper? You can do that from this function. You just select which size you want to go to. 
Um, the, the last tab across these large ones is paper size. This is where you select what size paper you're printing on. If you're doing an eight and a half by 11 um, piece of paper, the machine knows that size. You don't have to select the paper size, but if you're doing a nine by 12, a four by seven, an odd size piece of paper, you'll put your paper size in here. And then when you want to select it, I would just hit the button, select and hit okay. Um, other buttons you see on here, the word preview. When this button is pressed, what happens is before the image prints, it's going to put a full image right on this screen so you can see to make sure it's the right image you want. Um, editor. Editor allows you to scan a document and edit it before you print it. You can actually scan a document, let's say it has a date on there that's incorrect. You can actually go and have that, that date removed. Um, you can select parts of it to be one color or parts of it to be another color. So editor is a very useful tool. I do recommend. We, we have a user manual built right for editor. Read it, test it, learn it. It's very simple to use. Uh, and the final button on here we have, you'll see separation. Um, on this machine, it's a two color machine, so we have job, we have color separation. On the standard machine, the one cylinder machine, you won't have this button. This just helps you select the col so separate colors on a piece of paper that are scanned for one color to go to cylinder one and one color to go to cylinder two. One of the last most useful tools we have for the Reso Duplicator is a simple one. It's the user manual. A lot of people don't take the time to read their user manuals for any appliances they get. I recommend reading this with the Arisa Duplicator. Not only is it going to answer the questions you have, it's actually going to let you know a lot of applications in this machine that you didn't know were there. Reading the user manual is easy. It's a quick read. But if you have any other questions, feel free to call us at Reso Inc. Again, my name is Keith Partridge. My contact information will follow. Thank you.